Hello there. Before we get into today's episode, just a quick announcement. So a few months ago, we ran the Bingo Bongo Extravaganza 22. We're going to be running another PVM Bingo event, PVM Extravaganza 22. Similar name, I know, but a different concept. It's probably different to a lot of bingos that, so if some of you have taken part in a bingo, it's probably a very different concept. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's open to all skill levels and uh, it's going to be covering a lot of the different PVM things around Gillenor. So if you want to come get involved in that, it doesn't matter what level you are, what your skill level is, uh, how many hours in the day you play, come get involved. Link is in the description to the Discord where all of it is going to be hosted and also come and join the clan chat as well as we'll be hosting it through that too. But main thing is signups are now open and it will be running, the actual event will be running from the 29th of July until the 7th of August. Signups are open right now. You can go and sign up. It's a one mil buy-in. Really easy to get signed up and um, yeah, come join the fun, come get involved and uh be in the videos as well because we'll uh, all be gaming away together but anyway roll intro after the loss of my hardcore iron man status a new adventure is born carrying on from where i left off without the fear of death looming overhead there's no holding back this is dead smithy and welcome to my iron man progression series Hello everyone, my name is Smithy and welcome back to the Iron Man Progression Series. Last episode, we got ourselves another 99 with 99 strength and it was also the 100th episode of the series, which uh, is an achievement in itself, you know. 100 episodes, we're now on 101. That's how maths works, Smithy. Good one. <laughs> anyway, this episode, we're going to be starting off with trying out the blowpipe at Shamans. Um, Lizman Shamans for that. Uh, because uh, we don't have a big red hammer yet, and um, the blowpipe is going to make killing shamans a lot easier. So, um, yeah, we're going to give it a go. We're going to do, you know, a few hundred. We're not on task, so, you know, we're not getting the Slayer Helm benefit. But um, I do want to give them a go. I do want to, uh, we, 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 I think we've got about three and a half thousand that we've killed, something like that. Um, so we're not on drop rate yet. But, um, yeah, I don't really want to, dilly dally on not having a big red hammer anymore because the benefits of having one for things like chambers of zeric are pretty good aren't they they're pretty good um but yeah if you are new around here please do consider subscribing as we're getting closer and closer to ten thousand subs drop a like as well the comment of the episode is go get that hammer smithy um but also um as we are getting very close to ten thousand subscribers i'm going to be doing a very special video for ten thousand subs and for that, I'm going to require some questions from you guys in the comment section. So if you want to ask any questions, um, you can ask as many as you like. Uh, I'll be picking some to answer in the video. It's going to be a whole thing. You'll have to wait and see for what. I'm not going to drop any hints. Um, but yeah, leave some questions for me down below. Um, it can be about me. It can be about my inverted commas YouTube career, seeing as I've been doing it for like 12 years. Uh, not just on this channel, I'll say, as I know some people don't actually know that. Um, and uh, Or just ask me about RuneScape as well, what I like, dislike, all that fun stuff. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling because I've been talking now for two minutes. But um, yeah, leave them in the comment section and enjoy the episode. Okay, before we do jump in, I guess we better get the actual number. How many have we done? 3,109. Um, oh, Okay, so it's 2,442 that are actually Lisbon Shamans. Okay, cool. So we're about a quarter, half a quarter, great maths, half the way because it's one in 5,000 for the big red hammer. So we're about halfway to the drop rate, which uh, eh, it's not too bad. Slightly annoying. I forgot my nature runes, which means I can't elk everything while I'm here. Woo! Smart one, brother. <laughs> All right, so I've run out of my, uh, my prayer pots, but do you, do you actually need to pray here? Like, I feel like you could come with inventory of food and be absolutely fine. Um, yeah, maybe I should stop wasting prayer pots here and just vibe with grand ones because I've got like 19,000 of them. Let me know what you think. Do you, do you use prayer at, at shamans or do you, uh, do you just go nuts and not throw up those uh, that range icon? Let me know. Let me know. I'm interested. And also when you've got like the blowpipe spec that, you know, can heal. So if I do this, look. Am I going to heal off the shaman? I am. Just a little bit. We'll do a little bit more. See? I you know. There's so many ways. And it drops these chilli potatoes. And they're pretty good food. 
maybe maybe prayer is over. Maybe prayer is done here. Maybe we never pray here again. Oh, decisions, decisions. Okay, I'm eating my words. Uh, no, you probably should pray here. <laughs> Especially when you get the little green spit. Um, <clears throat> not them. The little one that you just saw. That, this thing. Especially when you get a few of those. They do uh, chain up a bit. But um, yeah, you can tank some, take some, eat, don't eat, do what you like. Um, still no big red hammer. Um, and I think this will be the last one that I do. Right, let's quickly pop out and see how many we've done. I mean, I think maybe we're on about 2.5k now. Yeah, just over, which uh, I think we've done about 100, which I'm checking my notes. Just shy of 100. So um, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Obviously, I need to go and bank, but uh, yeah. We're also stocking up on... Um, Fangs as well, because I want to mount the uh, Xerox tally in my house. And we've got a hard clue. Yeah, it's an easy start. I'm pretty sure it is 5,000 fangs that we need. And now we need less than 1,000. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, I don't know if I can store these. I can, but I'm, I think I'm going to welcome. Uh, all the run shit we can put in. Uh, the mystic one. Okay, we can store that, can we? Yeah, we can. Right. I need to out this, but uh, then we're going to do our clue step. And there we go. There is the casket. Can we get a dehy a blessed dehy body? Uh, no, we can't, but a Saradomin stole. Um, 128 clues. Let's put that on. Look at that. Oh, very fancy. Uh, what's that make us on our collection log? Uh, hard treasure, 37 out of 134. Eh, it's not too bad. I still can't believe we've got two of those bloody Robin Hood hats. Um, <laughs> look at those boots. Look at them boots. Got enough for a shoe shop, brother. Um, but yeah, very nice indeed. Can't complain at a unique. And because we're on 413, I don't like the number 13, uh, we go to shop here. And we're going to buy, oh, shop. And we're going to buy one of them, which is for the collection log. Woo, for the collection log. Um, it's annoying you can't click those and it takes you to the collection log paper. I think if we look on, um, is it minigames, Giants Foundry? It is indeed. Uh, also the ore pack as well. So let's buy an ore pack. Because we've got the points. And that is another collection log. Let's crack it open. Ooh, look at that. Some iron and coal. Very fancy. Looks like that's a bollard up. Can we... Oh, that is just the stairs. Um, yeah. Gaming. Also, just to note, it is fucking hot in the UK at the moment. It's like sauna levels. I think it was about 90... It was... It was uh, later in the week, it's been like 35 degrees. But it's it was which I think is about 94 Fahrenheit, if you're American. Something like that. You can check my maths on that, but it's about that. Yeah, pretty sweltering. Pretty sweltering. Right, before we get slapped in the wieldy, let's open this hard casket. Just alcohols, but you know. 129, not too bad. Right, we've got ourselves another hard casket. I'll tell you what, the shamans do indeed be shitting them out. Can we please get a blessed dehyde body? Okay, 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 we've got to have the shitters to make the good ones even better. And that one, I can smell it from here, it's stinky. It's stinky! Alright, so we did a few more shamans. Uh, we've got about 1,300 logged on the uh, loot tracker. Here we go, there we go. Um, obviously, we've done more than 1,300. We've done, was it 2,500, something like that. Um, which isn't too shabby loot, you know, nine mils worth of loot. But um, one of my friends, uh, Lynx, recently has done the 99 thieving grind at the Pyramid. She managed to get like 11 scepters from, I think, maybe 80 thieving. Uh, and it's inspired me to go to the Pyramid myself and try and get ourselves the two um, scepters that we need. One is for building the player own house um, thingy. A altar, and the other one, I think it's for a, cl uh, like a clue scroll. I think it's a clue step you need it for. So, um, yeah, we're going to be 
We're going to be attempting the pyramid. I've only done it a few times before, like during leagues. I think I've done it a couple of times on actual um, main game. Uh, we managed to one-bang it on getting the uh, Guardian Mummy. Because he moves about, doesn't he? But anyway, we're going to give it a go. Can we get a pet Rocky? Probably not. But um, we can try our hardest. We're starting off at 76 Thieving. It's one of our lower-end skills, so let's level it up a bit, shall we? I'll tell you what, this faffing about um, when you go inside and the mummy's not there and you've got to go and find it, it's a bit of a pain in the arse, isn't it? Is he in here? No, of course he's not. But then it resets you right back to the fucking start bit, so you've got to go around again. Ooh. Why doesn't it pump you out of the one that you literally just come out of? Why, why the most northern one? Taking the piss, mate. Taking the piss. And also, I'm thinking about stocking up these golden ones because I think you use these as, like, charges within the scepter um, because the scepter has a bunch of teleports on it. So, you know, do I keep them? Do I bid them off? Maybe I'd start keeping them after I've actually got the scepter. That might be smart. But anyway, um, I'm going to take you on a little trip. We're going to go through this together because I can do six of the rooms, I think it is. Um, yeah, because I can only go up to 71 where I'm only 77. Uh, also, an XP... Oh, look at that. One banged it. XP-wise, we're up um, 15k already, which is pretty cool. We're getting about 30,000 XP an hour. Obviously, we'd be getting better if we had uh, all of the rooms, but we don't. So that's why we're skilling up. Um, so now this room here. Have one banged it? No. What about this one? Can I get it? Oh, can you get it? No, can I get it? Is that it? No. Sometimes it's good if you fail. Sometimes it's good if you fail them because uh, you get more <laughs> get more XP. Uh, there we go. Right. Look at this dude in full whatever armor that is. Go on, free go. Uh, any rockies? No. Nope. A little stone cat. I'll take that. What about this one? So we could do two more rooms here. Oh, there we go, nice. I don't get why they're all geared up. You don't need fucking armor. It's only a little mummy that comes out and goes boogity boo, or some bugs. Just need anti poison anyway. I, I did consider wearing my serp helm, but I don't really want to waste solar scales on this bloody place. Um, right, let's have a look. At this one. So you get 200 for opening a door. 200 thieving XP. Dare I say I'll go on then. There we go. Number two. Done. Boom. And this is the last room that we can do. When we go through the spiky boys. There we go. And you know what? For good measure, let's open the sarcophagus. Anything inside? No. Is that my mummy? Run from the mummy, run, run! And can we finesse it? Can we finesse? Hold on, let me drop. Let me drop all these ones. We don't. We don't want them. We don't need them in our lives. Can we finesse it and get it with the first door? We cannot. Scam game. Right before we go back in, we've got a mystery box. Could this be the stale baguette? It's not. It's not. It's a diamond. Hey, hey there is the first level at the rocky prison. Uh, <laughs> 77 thieving coming in very nice indeed uh, I'm thinking about getting to 80 we're getting about I'll say that I've just seen how much XP we need until the next level um, yeah we're, we're getting 35k XP an hour um, ignore that I had to reset it because there's been about a million updates so I've had to close my client uh, between now and when I was doing you know the other clips um, but we need 153k XP until the next next level, which uh, is about five hours of this shit. So um, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe we get one more level uh, before um, we change and do something else. Because it's not the most interesting of of mini games. Can you call this a mini game? Let's go with yeah. It's a mini game. It's got a little mini game icon. But yeah, it's it's not the most riveting of uh, game games to do. So uh, let's see what comes first: scepter or seventy eight. Thieving. All right, I've decided to switch it up a bit. I'm doing the um, sarcophagus first, and then I do the uh, golden chest in the middle. I think the sarcophagus gives um, a decent potential for... Oh, my God. Come on, open it. 
It wasn't even the right one, for goodness sake. I, I think the sarcophagus gives a decent potential for a um, scepter. I'm not too sure. Um, I know the uh, golden chest is obviously the best rates for it. But uh, I'm doing the sarcophagus first because that takes about an hour to open. Uh, whereas the, pardon me, the chest you did kind of pop open. So if anything's jumped out and trying to kill you, um, it doesn't really matter. You can look. Now Mummy's popped out. Hello, Mummy. There we go. We can just, bye. See you later, slow coach. Bye. <laughs> But uh, yeah, if anyone's done this before or anyone knows the meta for it, please do let me know um, because otherwise I'm making myself look like a right tit. All right, I've switched back to just doing the, um, <laughs> the, the chest in the middle and we're getting about 40k uh, XP an hour. Look at that. Look at that. 40 it's a little bit over when I'm actually doing the mini game because you've got all the faffing about when you get out and you've got to find where the mummy is again. Um yeah, also the Serp Helm just makes this ridiculously reclined. I know it's probably a waste of scales, but I don't I really don't care. Um But yeah, we're gaming away. And uh Mummy's just punched us in the head. How dare they? How dare they? Um but yeah, we're sixty percent into the level and uh we've got like sixty four K left, which should take a couple of hours. Still no scepter. I'm still dropping all of these um things that they give us because i don't fucking want them um bye bye scarab uh also another thing um you know last episode i said about the um the uh inventory swapper where you can swap you know what these things do so you know if you do shift like you can switch to any of these if you do shift right click they've now put them on here for some reason instead of just clicking on here and then you just Weird setup, I know. But shout out to Kitsune in the comments um, on the last Tileman episode where I talked about this. I think it was in the Tileman episode um, for letting me know that they've changed it to this really weird setup, which threw me for a loop. But um, it, it's nice to see that it's still actually in in the game because it's kind of handy. <laughs> I'm also surprised there's no tracker on how many times you've done it, like done Pyramid Plunder. Um, and I think it's like one in a hundred and something um for getting the scepter if you're doing all of the golden chests uh up until for me room six um i, I each each room obviously has its own rates and a pyramid mid plunder os rs now let me quickly get go in the chest so if you're doing um Floor 5 plus, it's 1 in 650. All right, it's lied to me. There was another wiki page that made it sound a lot more fe like feasible. Um, <laughs> uh, and now I'm just talking out my ass. But um, Pharaoh Scepter uh, is uh, 1 in 65 for floor 5 plus. 650, sorry. Then 1 in 750 for four, floor 4. For floor fl 3, it's 1 in 1250. Oh, yeah, 1,250. Floor 2 is 2,250. And uh, floor 1 is 3,500, which is pretty ridiculous rates. Um, and it would just be nice to see how many rooms you've done or how many, you know, games you've done. So you can kind of work out if you if you're dry or not, because that would be pretty sick. But um, anyway... We're clicking, we're getting Thieving XP, we're potentially getting a Scepter. Who knows? Who knows? Put in the comments how long you think it's going to take me on what level. Okay, right. When we search this golden, grand golden chest, this will be... Oh, no. Why does it... I don't know why it doesn't give XP if you mess it up. Anyway, this door here will be... <laughs> 78th even coming in very nice indeed we can now steal from the rich chests uh in dorgish khan uh anything else that is all still no scepter um uh, can we get it sub 80 thieving uh we're currently getting about 35 to 40k xp an hour which uh, yeah, it's all right i guess it's not the best but it's not the worst so um we keep on moving and a grooving towards 80 whether we get this episode, I don't know. Probably not, but um, we're gonna we're gonna try our best. Right, it's that time of the week when I remember to check my kingdom. Uh, let's collect and uh, collect resources. Twenty seven renars, no seeds from renars. But again, kingdom very important to keep stocked up. Uh, how much money have we got on it? 
one point one and a half mil. Now that that's fine for now. Anyway, back to uh, pyramid plunder. Right, so we're getting closer and closer to seventy nine um, thieving. Um, we're currently getting like uh, twenty four to twenty five k xp an hour. Um, you really can take a hit if you're not getting the uh, the the um, the clean chest openings so you don't get anything that starts attacking you because then you like, I didn't get XP then but then I just start getting battered by some bugs um yeah because like a couple of days ago we were getting 40k XP an hour um so let's say average of like 30k XP an hour I think that's fair enough to say um and also it really depends on how much faffing you have to do in between each game but like mini game as well like trying to find the mummy i know that'll be a lot easier once we've got the uh scepter but um rng so far hasn't been in our favor for that so um yeah we're cracking on um i don't know if we'll get 80 this episode but we're definitely going to get 79 right this should be um of course it's not of course we take the damage on the <laughs> <laughs> literally just we're about to get the fucking level all right picking this tomb door here should be uh 79 thieving very nice indeed i think that's going to be the last level that we get this episode um it's currently sunday uh so the day that this goes up and i've just tested positive for the lovely rona so um yeah <laughs> i don't think i can take much more pyramid plunder um <laughs> the old pri uh thieving prison um yeah so uh i think we're gonna end it on 79 um 79 thieving um i'll go through all of the xp that we've gained in the like the next clip okay and like i said that is gonna do it for today's video um so xp wise we've gone up 371,650 xp which i don't actually think is too bad going um that's three thieving levels. We went from 76 to 79. We're now two levels away from uh, 2,000 total, which is pretty sick. Um, I, th I think we did about 15 to 20 hours of thieving, um, which for me, to do the same thing that much in a week is quite impressive for me. Um, and uh, we also did, I think we did about 200-odd shamans, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but um, we only wanted to you know, tease a little bit of maybe getting a red hammer. Um at the halfway mark but uh, obviously we didn't because it's not in me and at the moment so it means that we haven't got it oh no um but yeah thank you all so much for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed the episode if you have drop a like the comment of the episode is um nice scepter smithy put that in the comment section down below because uh, obviously we didn't fucking get one uh, and i think we're way over the rate now of uh, getting one because we're doing the first six rooms which uh, should mean that we get it in like 200 go-throughs, something like that. I think the math checks out. I don't know. You can do it if you want. I can't be bothered. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. Uh, subscribe if you're new around here as well. A shout out to all of our channel members of Will, Steve, Super Beef, Maid, AJ, Helena, Cushy, Thamescape, Rayleigh, Chair, uh, Raw, Paul, Fruit Salad, Tavani, and our newest member, Elmo, Welcome to the gang, Elmo, and uh, thank you everyone for the continued support through the membership program. It really does mean a lot, and uh, if you want to get involved in that, there's a join button down below that will give you all the information about the uh, the sign-up, and uh, it's like 99p a month or something like that, 99 cent, whatever your currency is. Um, but yeah, if you did skip through the announcement at the beginning, come join the Discord, come get involved in the uh, PVM bingo that we're doing. Uh, that's running from the 29th to the 7th of August. So 29th of July to the 7th of August. Uh, if you want to come get involved in that, doesn't matter in your skill level, come get involved, come have some fun, come get involved with the community as well. The last one we did was a hoot. So uh, it'd be good to see everyone coming back for that. Uh, so far, the turnout's been really good. Um, and, you know, I haven't really officially announced it anywhere, which uh, you love to see. So come get involved in that. And um, yeah. Stay safe, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!